Hello, hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Nami. Hi, Mario Ernesto Guevara. Hi, Glenda Lisset. How are you today? Hi, good evening. Good evening, Glenda. How's everything? Uh -huh. How's everything? Everything good so far? So, so, how's, how's at your work today? Como están? How was your weekend? Saturday and Sunday. How was it? It was good. It was so, so kind of boring or exciting or busy. ¿Qué tal estuvo su fin de semana? <clears throat> How was it? Was it good? Or it was not good? Hello, hello, Noemi. It's good. It, it was good. It was good. It, El was, pasado, good. it was good. Okay, wow. and what do you remember about the last class? ¿Qué recuerdan de la semana pasada? <clears throat> okay, any idea? Any idea you had? So, something you remember about the last class. Hi, Miguel Angel. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How's everything so far? Everything good? Todo está bien. Hello, hello. So, Prince Jeremy from 7 to 8, right? So, okay, here we go. Just yes, en lo que se unen los demás compañeros. Okay, uh, what do you remember about the last session? Uh, Miguel, ¿qué se recuerda de la, de, la, de la semana pasada? Something you remember? Lo que sea, any, any idea. Any vocabulary, expression? Mm -hmm. uh, how good, how often? Uh -huh. uh, how... Excellent, how very good. Okay, uh, what is the meaning of how, okay. An example with how well. Can you give us an example using how well? Uh -huh. An example using how well, the word how well. What sería? How would it be? How would be an example using uh, using how well? How well do you play tennis? How well do you play tennis? Excellent, very good. How well do you play soccer, right? Okay, how well, right? How long is about the time. It's about the duration of the time, how long. And also you have a, a how well, how long, how good. And how often, right? Can you give me an example using how often? ¿Me pueden dar un ejemplo? An example using how often. Mm -hmm. Yes, an example using how often. How often do you exercise? Excellent, Nami. How often do you exercise, right? A synonym for exercise is work out of the gym work out of the gym how often do you work out how often do you exercise very good okay welcome to the online english program uh, so to the pre-intermediate module two module number two a uh, session number five november 6 2003 right it's almost time to start okay now the general information facilitator's name salvador hernandez schedule from seven to eight virtual classes, right? Okay, here we go. The agenda for today, <clears throat> the fifth day, November 4, 2023. So we have a, a reading, welcome, instructions, review about the last session, the last class, the warm up, 21 questions, attendance, snapshot, conversation, grammar focus, vocabulary, platform exercise, simple pass, and feedback, right? Closing and five minutes for advice. Okay, so uh, the general objective to contribute to the socioeconomic development of the country by strengthening English language skills in young and adults, people through a practical teaching program that takes place in face-to-face -face online mode with the support of technological tools aimed at the productive participation of students. The specific objective, asking for and getting information about simple past activities. So today we're going to finish with the simple past and in the past was where talking about was where snapshots grammar focus complete some grammar exercise in the platform and identify identify activities in familiar scenarios and practice model dialogues for creating personal conversations 
Okay, so uh, here we go. What are we doing today? What are the objectives for today? So participants will be able to review the last session and ask and answer some personal questions about simple past. Participants will be able to practice what and where and create a conversation based in the model, model a complete reading exercise and listening. Repeat some vocabulary expressions, complete some exercises in the platform and feedback them, giving information about homework assigned about childhood. Recuerdo que la semana pasada les dejé <clears throat> una tarea que era esta, ¿verdad? I'm going to talk about me as a child, my childhood. I was shy, I was thin, my hair was very short. My favorite TV program was Hey Arnold. My favorite hobby was to ride my bike and so on, right? En un momento vamos a, 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 a ver esta tarea. Por si no la hizo, allí puede verse, ver unos ejemplos, ¿verdad? Se las mandé al grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Yes? Yes. Okay, hello, hello. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for answering. Okay, so we're going to continue. Ah, good evening. Creo que en el chat me mandaron algo. Okay, Stephanie, no problem. Okay. Okay, just let me to answer her. Okay, Stephanie. Okay, here we go. Excellent, very good. You're welcome anytime. Okay, so um you sure? Just give me two. The problem with this one when I I permítame, give me a second. Que por veces esta cosa <laughs> agarra vida este esta y vamos. Here we go. Okay, Cartagena, Mr. Cartagena, no problem. Okay, give me a few seconds. I'm looking for your manual, pre-intermediate, right? Here we go. Let me... Okay, Roberto Cartagena. Okay, Robert, no problem. Yes, it's okay, Robert. A veces me olvido lo mencioné. Okay, but no problem. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, uh, so the last class we were talking about the simple past, right? Creo que se ve mejor en este. Uh, we were talking about simple past in the grammar focus. Yes, this is your moment. Let me see. Yes, about the grammar focus. And we review about the simple past. Now we're going to listen this part. Give me a second. Déjeme buscar el audio, permítame. Okay, you need to take conversation, conversation. Okay, here we go. Pero como sé que no se va a escuchar, tengo que activar. Optimize for people. Size three. Grammar focus. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. Ooh. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Okay. Now here, and I remember that I assigned this as a homework, right? So you have a, a, in the simple past, we have to use the auxiliary did and the verb in the base form. For the short answer, yes, I did, no, I didn't. For the long affirmative answer, we have to use the verb in past. I worked all day. And the ED has three different pronunciations, right? The ED has three different pronunciations according, according with the last letter, last letter uh, they have. Not the letter E because the letter E is mute. So it's according with the letter that you mentioned, okay? So here we go. And when you, this, when the question starts with did, so it's a closed question. So you can answer, yes, I did, no, I didn't, right? But when you have a, a WH word at the beginning of the question, so it's an open question, right? So you need more information. So you have the regular verse and you have the irregular verse. So in this one, we have a groups. And the regular verse, we have a ED ending 
that is different pronunciation. For example, for work, word, invite, invited, study, study, stop, stopped. Okay, rapidito vamos a hacer esto. Okay, so in the number one, it was, did you stay home on Saturday? No, I called my friend. We drove to a cafe for lunch. Okay, what about the number two? ¿Cómo les queda? ¿Les acuerdan cómo quedaba la number two? Yes. Lo vamos a escoger aquí un, alguna, alguno de ustedes. Ya no veo sus nombres, por cierto. Ok, I'm going to move this one here. Ok, here we go. Ok, can you help me please? Eh, Miguel, ah, Miguel Ángel, do you remember cómo le quedaba aquí? Do you remember the answer for the number two? Hello, Miguel. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay. How? Si se ve. Si, si. Okay. Huh? How do you spend your last birthday? Okay, very good. Uh, how do you spend your last birthday? Uh, do si fuera presente, pero como estamos en pasado, ¿cuál auxiliar es? Did. How did you spend your last birthday? I, what is the answer? Eh, no sé si nos ayuda Manuel Alexander Aviles Chacón. Hello, Manuel. Uh, I had a party. Uh -huh. Everyone. Uh, uh -huh. I don't know. Regular. Irregular. Irregular. Enjoy, Enjoy it. it. Enjoy it, no, enjoy it, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the last one, but the neighbors not didn't like. like, didn't like the noise. Excellent, very good. Who answered the number three? ¿Quién respondió la tres? Uh -huh. Who answered the number three? Ah, ya vi, ya los caché que no hicieron la tarea. Va. <laughs> okay, so no problem. So we are going to answer here in the class. What, what, what? What is the auxiliary for the simple past? Uh -huh. What did? What did you? Y aquí sería do o did? You do. Uh -huh. Last mm -hmm. night. El do vuelve a la normalidad por el did, right? The base form of, of do, because you are using the auxiliary did as an auxiliary, right? What did you do last night? Uh -huh. ¿Qué hiciste last night? I... In simple past, because it's affirmative. Uh, mm. I, I what? I saw. I saw a 3D movie of the Cineplex, of the Cinemark. I, what is the pass of the verb low? Loved. 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 I loved it, right? I loved it. Excellent. Now let's check it out the number four. So uh, he, he, here in this blank, what do we need? ¿Qué necesitamos aquí en este espacio? Uh -huh. What is the auxiliary for the simple pass? Did. Did you do anything special over the weekend? Vaya anotándolo porque ya le voy a preguntar. Yes, I... Short answer. Yes, I did. Yes, I did, right? Yes, I did. Excellent. So you have to use this auxiliary for answering here, right? Oops. So you have, yes, I did, right? Yes, I did. I, the pass of the verb go. What is the pass of the verb go? Uh huh. I went. I went shopping. Unfortunately, I spent. Le cambiamos la de por ti. I spent all my money. Now I'm broke. Right? Okay, the number five. Can you help us with the number five? No sé si nos ayuda María José Torres. Can, can you help us? What is the auxiliary for the past here, María José Torres? Hello, María José. I think it's not a pelo. Ah, yes. Hello, María José. Okay, it's okay. 
Now, uh, Jessica Lisset Campos, what is the auxiliary here? In the number five, here. Huh? What is the auxiliary? Yes? Uh -huh, excellent. Did you? Uh, did hello, you Lucia. Go. Did you go, right? Y por qué no ponemos? Why not did you went? Why? Why not did you went? The question is in past. Why we don't use? Because. Por el auxiliar? Because the auxiliary, did. right? Because for the auxiliary did. Excellent. Very good. Okay. We, okay. Did you go out on Friday night? No, I didn't. I. The pass of the very invite. Invite. I can't enter. Ah, okay. Okay, Lucia, no problem. Okay, uh huh. What is the pass of the very invite? It's regular. Como tenemos la T entre las dos vocales, invite. Invited con D. Invited, right? Excellent. I invited or invited friends over. Okay, and I. The pass of the very cook. I. Cooked dinner for them. I cooked dinner for them, right? Excellent. Do you have any question with this exercise? Any questions for this exercise? Any question? Any question so far? ¿Tiene alguna duda? En algunos casos cambia eh, la temática, verdad, Mister? Por ejemplo, ¿dónde? In the number three. In the number three. What did you do last night? I saw a 3D movie. I loved it. Uh, el, en el de nosotros dice go. Ah, oh, really? Ah, oh, 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 ok, en el manual. Eh, vamos a ver el manual. Ah, sí, 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 es cierto. Es que ese es el manual, pero mire, ya ve cómo se ve el manual en su compu. O sea, mi manual en su manual. <risa> ya, lo, ya, ve, ya, ya ve cómo se ve, por eso pongo la otra, la otra versión. ¿Verdad que se ve borroso? Sí, se ve borroso. Entonces, that's why. Uh -huh. That's why I use, I prefer to use the other one. Entonces, eh, por eso, yes, but you are right. What did, no, dice, do you last night? Ah, I go, aquí dice, I went to the new Jim Carrey film. I loved it. Sí, es verdad. Cambia algunos detalles. It's true. Yes, it's true. What did you do last night? Pero en general está todo lo mismo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I cooked dinner for them. I invited friends over. Yes, it's true. You are right. Yes. Entonces, por eso trato de... Eh, Usa este porque... Porque se ve borroso. It looks blurry. Okay, now, the reduction of the U. Como usted sabe, mire, tenemos una D. You have a letter D between the vowel I and the, and the Y. Entonces, como tenemos, podríamos decir que son dos vocales. Did you... Did you, right? Did you, okay? Did you, did you have a good time? Did you have a good time? Did you have a good time? What do you do? What do you do? ¿Por qué pronunciamos what do you do? Y no what did you do? ¿Por qué? Uh -huh. Because you have the letter T and D between two vowels, the vowel A and the vowel I. What did you do last night? You can say, what did you do last night? Yes, you can say it. But the American people, the gringos, they say, what did you do last night? Y ahí es donde ya no les entendemos, ¿verdad? Porque lo dicen bien rápido, lo dicen contractado, lo dicen con una pronunciation with a, a reducted pronunciation, right? Reduction of DU, right? How did you like the movie? It's okay. How did you like the movie? It's okay. But also you can say, how do you like the movie? How do you like the movie? Okay. Si no me cree, vamos a escucharlo. Creo que se escuche. <laughs> okay, now let's check it out the pronunciation. Page 45. Exercise <laughs> Pronunciation. Reduction of did you. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how did you is reduced in the following questions. Did you have a good time? What did you do last night? How did you like the movie? 
Okay, let's listen again. Escuchémoslo otra vez. Page 45, again. exercise 4, pronunciation. Reduction of did you. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how did you is reduced in the following questions. Did you have a good time? What did you do last night? How did you like the movie? Okay, so did you listen? Repeat that for me. Repeat. What did you do last night? What, what did, did you do last, last night? Excellent. What did you do last night? It's okay if you say, what did you do last night? But sounds like a, you are mumble, right? Like you are, blah, blah, right? Uh, it sounds more fluent. What did you do last night, right? It sounds like uh, in only one, it's yeah, one phrase, right? What did you do last night? How did you like the movie? How did you like the movie? Or how did you like the movie? Okay, but sounds kind of uh, slow, right? Okay, question so far with this? Do you have any question? Oh, no questions. No? No? No. Okay, excellent, very good. Now here, I'm gonna skip this, I'm gonna skip that. Now for finishing with the simple past, how was your vacation? So you have a, this conversation, how was your vacation? No la leímos, verdad, esa, esa conversation. Yo creo que no, verdad. Déjeme ver si, okay. Vamos a ver, no, look at your manual. Then look at your manual and I am, you are going to listen. Quiero ver si es la misma, primero. Okay, then look at your manual and you are going to listen. Vamos a ver si es, if it is the same. Page 47, exercise nine, conversation. How was your vacation? Okay, listen. Part A, listen. listen and practice. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Okay, what did you listen? ¿Qué escuchó? What did you listen? Uh, Judith Alfaro escuchó algo. Did you did? Ahorita lo voy a agarrar así al, al azar, dedocráticamente. <laughs> did you did? Did you listen something or not? Uh, um, teacher, voy todavía camino a mi casa. No he llegado. Okay, no problem, Judith. No problem. Okay, okay. I am walking to my home. Repeat, Judith. I am walking. I am working. Walking. Walking. To my home. To my home. I am excellent. walking to my house. To my house. My oh, excellent. Excellent. Home or house, right? House is the structure. And home is the the parents, the love. Okay, right? The ah, family, okay. family is home, hogar, right? Okay, that's nice. Very good. Okay. okay. Uh, Mario Ernesto okay. Guevara, what did you listen in the conversation? Or do you want to listen again, Mario? Hi, hello. Hello. Mario is not available right now. Rommel, what did you listen? Escucho algo, Rommel? There are a little problems with my internet. Ah, oh, with your internet. Repeat that for me, Rommel. Internet. Internet. Okay. Oh, internet. You can say internet or internet. Okay, we're going to listen again. Hoy sí. Vamos a escucharlo otra vez. Pero hoy sí preste la atención, por favor, please. Page 47, exercise 9, conversation. How was your vacation? Part A, listen and practice. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy a lot. Okay, what did you listen? ¿Qué escucharon? ¿Alguna palabra? Any word? How, how was your vacation? Hi, excellent, very good. How was your vacation? Very good. Okay. Uh, Lucia said right, right? Okay. Or oh, no, me. Great, great vacation. Great, okay. great vacation. Excellent, very good, Lucia. Very good. Okay, excellent, Nomi. Okay, what did you listen? Uh, Stephanie is working. ¿Quién era el otro que me dijo que estaba? Was busy right now. Uh, eh, Hector Enrique, what did you listen? Here, a quemar ropa. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, Robert también is working, right? Ah, oh, no, he is ill. 
Hector Enrique, did you listen something? Uh, Twitter only uh, was vacation. Okay, was very excellent, very good. That's nice. Es que si voy, voy camino a mi casa todavía, entonces. Okay, I'm going my home. I am sí, going. I'm going my home. Oh, excellent, very good. Okay. Eh, en Ruth Abigail Caballero, what did you listen? ¿Qué escuchó Ruth? Ray Tan en Locking You. Lucky, excellent. Suerte, Lucky You. ¿Qué suerte tienes, right? Lucky You. But, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Okay. So, what did you listen? What else did you listen? Something else? Uh -huh. How would you say your oh, meaning uh, amazing? Amazing. Amazing. Repeat for me, Lucia. Amazing. Amazing. Increíble, right? A synonym for incredible. Amazing. Uh, amazing. Okay. Yes, very good. Uh, Glenda Lisset, ¿qué escuchó? ¿Algo que ha escuchado, Glenda? Well, sometimes. Uh -huh. Sometimes. Okay, very good. That's nice. Now, look at this. Look at this. How was your vacation? Now, you're going to listen again, and you're going to read. Ahora lo vas a, a, a leer. Page 47, exercise 9, conversation. How was your vacation? Part A, listen and practice. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy a lot. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Happened, right? Happened. Okay. Did you listen how she says and uh, how Celia says vacation? No dice vacation, ¿verdad? No dice vacation. Dice, listen, escuche lo dice en las primeras. Page 47, exercise 9, conversation. How was your vacation? Okay. Vacation, right? Vacation. No vacation, right? Vacation. Part A. Listen and practice. Listen, the word. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? Okay, escucho como dice. Vacation, right? Vacation. No dice vacation, ¿verdad? No dice vacation tampoco. So, vacation. It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Aquí hay este... Se puede pronunciar como R porque está entre dos vocales. We had a great time. Lucky you. Aquí se une, lucky you, hay una unión, lucky you. How long were you there? About a week, about a week, right? Aquí también, about a week, entre dos vocales. Fantastic, este no es una pura, ¿verdad? Fantastic, was the weather okay? Not really, como una A, not really. It was cloudy a lot, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing, the waves were amazing, increíbles, incredible. Eh, y aquí, amazing, no es amazing, ¿verdad? So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Something incredible happened, okay? I need two volunteers to practice the conversation. I need two volunteers. Yes, yes. I Raise your hand. Okay, Luc who said? Lucia. Okay, Lucia. <laughs> no, no fue Lucia. Sí, yo fui. Okay, okay, Lucia, you're one volunteer. Other volunteer? Okay, Lucia, tell me a number from one to ten. Dígame un número del uno al diez para escoger uno. Me, teacher. Okay, Glenda. Okay. okay, después vamos a escoger el five. Va, entonces, Lucia en Glenda. Okay, Glenda es Celia and Lucia is done. Okay, el resto, practique la pronunciación en su caso. Okay, empieza eh, Glenda. Hi. Sí. Hi Don, how how was your vacation? Hmm? What excellent. Went to Hawaii with my cousin. We have a great time. Look at you. How long were you there? About about a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? No, really. It was cloudy a lot, but 
we went surfing every day. The what? what ¿Cómo se dice ahí, teacher? Were amazing. The waves were amazing. The waves. The waves hmm? were amazing. Uh -huh. So what? Se me borra, se me. Okay. Vaya, diga. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Hmm? Well, sometimes incredible ha happened. Happened, happened. Excellent, very good. Happened. Question oh. two, and this one, the ways were amazing. Lucky you. Este como si fuera una ave, lucky you. Uh, do you have it? the ways? The ways were amazing. The ways is this, mire. Surfing the is world. about the waves. The whole last. Of the sea, right? Of the sea. Yes, exactly, right? The ways when you have like this, something similar to this one. Okay, do you have any questions so far? More questions about it? Or no questions? Question with vocabulary or pronunciation? Questions with vocabulary or pronunciation? Mm -hmm. It happened. 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 Una te, una extra te. Happened. 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 Question with vocabulary or pronunciation or not? No questions. Se me va este, se no lo puedo. No questions? No questions so far? No questions? No tiene pregunta, verdad? Okay, very good. Vamos a pasar. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we are going to pass to the grammar focus. Pass of the verb to be. We are going to pass to pass of the verb to be. Okay, give me a second, please. Page 47, exercise 10, grammar focus, past of B. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Okay, it was the contract. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. Okay, so uh, for the past of the verb to be, that is was and were, for the past of the verb to be, we don't use the auxiliary did. No usamos el did como el, el was el were. Eh, para hacer la pregunta, pasamos el was el were at the beginning. Para usar el was el were, para hacer la pregunta con was y were, El was y el were lo utilizamos al principio, mire. Were you in Hawaii? ¿Estuviste tú en Hawaii? Sí, lo estuve. Yes, I was. The short answer is, yes, I was. Was the weather okay? Was the climate okay? No, it wasn't. Yes, it was, right? The negative wasn't. Wasn't is equal was not. Weren't equal were not. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were, right? Were you? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? This is an open question or a closed question? Open or closed question. How long were you away? How long were you away? Is open, is open question or is closed question? Huh? It's open. It's open, right? Because need more information. It's not only, yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Or oh, yes, 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 we were. Or no, no, we weren't, right? It's an open because asking using is using how long? How long? How much time? How many days? I was away for a week, right? How was your vacation? It was excellent. Open question because you have how, the WH word, how. How was your vacation? It was excellent, right? And here we have this exercise that we're going to try to complete. I want to help you with the number one. Can you help me with the instructions? But the here on the number five. Con la indicación, me ayuda, please. The number five. One, two, three, four, five. Hector Enrique Guzman, can you help us with the indication, the instruction, please? Here. Here, Hector Enrique. The green one. Complete this conversation to practice with a partner. Excellent, very good. So you have to use was, where, was, wasn't, where, weren't, right? Okay, now, for you, what is the auxiliary for you? 
Was or where? Is was. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y was. Para you, Sam, was. ¿Segura? Yes. Where? Where? Were you in Los Angeles last weekend? No, I. Para I, ¿cuál usamos? Was. No, I, I was. wasn't. I was. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I... Ajá, uh -huh. I was in San Francisco. I was in San Francisco. Ajá, uh -huh. how, it, ¿cuál usamos con it? Was or where? Sí, how is, was. Con it, where? Sure. Sure. Yeah. How were it? Así se diría. How were it? How were it? How was it? How was it, right? Con it usamos was. Remember that the, uh, the word was, uh, we use was with I, it, he, and she. When it's only one person, we have to use was or negative wasn't. And for the plural, for you, for we, and for they, we use were or negative weren't. Were or weren't. El were lo usamos con you, we, and they. You, we, and they. El was lo utilizamos con I, he, and she. For example, here in this one, it. It va con? Was. It was great. Excellent, right? Ba, but it was foggy and cool as usual, right? Okay, in the number one, do you have any question with vocabulary? Question with vocabulary so far? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Question with vocabulary or pronunciation? Foggy. Foggy. foggy, foggy, the pronunciation is foggy. And for example, in Los Planes de Rendero, it's foggy. It's foggy, a lot of clouds. It's very fog, a lot of fog around in the, in the evening, in the afternoon, it's foggy, like a cloudy, similar to cloudy. Foggy is here in the picture. Look at the picture. Here in San Francisco, it's foggy. In the Golden Gate Bridge, it's foggy. The cloudy is here, right? The cloudy. The cloudies are a <clears throat> are a here, right? The cloud clouds are here. Clouds, cloudy. But the foggy is here. Can you see it? Mm, es como una neblina o algo así. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes. Foggy, okay. foggy, cloudy, foggy, okay. cloudy. In los okay. planes de renderos is foggy. Is foggy, right? Today is cloudy, it might rain. Excellent, very good. Okay, uh, more questions so far? No. No. Okay, okay, very good. So, uh, okay, can you practice this conversation? Vamos a ver, voy a escoger a lanzar ahí. So, number five, the presenter de abajo. One, two, three, four, five. Miguel Angel Clemente, ya <laughs> cambié. Miguel Angel Clemente and Noemi, can you practice this conversation? The number one. Miguel is letter A, and Noemi is letter B, please. Okay. Huh? Empieza Miguel. Okay. Uh, where do you in Los Angeles last weekend? Huh? No, I I were. No, I wasn't. I was. I uh -huh. wasn't. Hmm? How oh, was it? How was it? Uh huh. How was it? No, how was it? I. It. I yes, it. 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 It was. No. Es que voy perdida. Permítame. <laughs> Aquí estamos. It was. Ay, a la vi que no estaba prestando atención. Ma. Y lo acabamos de dar no, la respuesta. No, no, no. Lo que pasa es que estaba okay. leyendo. Estamos en la primera, va. ¿O no? Ah, yes, it. Aquí, here. Yes. A and B. Uh -huh. It, it was great, but it. Ajá. Uh, en la, en, aquí en la, en la B. En la B. Ah, aquí, aquí. It was great, but it. It was it. great, but it. Cloudy. Uh -huh. hmm? But uh -huh. was foggy. Foggy and cool. Abajo sí. Was foggy. Ajá. Uh -huh. Foggy and cool as usual. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Excellent. That's nice. Okay. Yes, it was great, but it was foggy and cool as usual, right? 
Okay, excellent, very good. Uh, can you give me, okay, ma, we are gonna continue with the number two. Vamos a seguir. Uh, tell me a number, please, Noemi. Tell me a number from one to 20. From one to 20, for choosing one of your classmates. Hmm? Del 1 al 20, me dice un número, Noemi. Siete. Number seven, number seven. Sí. Lucia, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven. But Jessica nos va a ayudar con la conversación. Jessica dice Campos, Campos. Y la persona que sigue es uh, también Manuel Alexander. Nos va a ayudar allí. Jessica y Manuel, pero cuando lo terminemos. Ok. In the number two, how long here is was or where? Here, was or where? Where. Where, where ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Why were you no was? ¿Por qué were and no was? Where is eh, plural? Ajá, your parents. Your parents is for is plural, so where? In Europe. Europe. In Europe. They was or where? Where? They were there for two weeks. And here for the question. ¿Cómo hacemos la pregunta? ¿Usamos did o usamos where? Where? Where, where, porque con el was y el where no usamos did, ¿verdad? Were they in London the whole time? ¿Estuvieron ellos en Londres todo el tiempo? No, they weren't. Weren't. They also went to Paris. They also went to Paris. Can you practice the conversation, please? The number two. Eh, era Jessica Lisset Campos, ¿verdad? No. ¿Quién dije eso? Yes. Yes, Jessica Lisset Campos en Manuel Alexander Avilés. Please. Jessica is letter A, Manuel letter B. Please, Manuel. I don't know if you're okay. available. Okay. Um, how long were your parents in Europe? They were there for two weeks. Were they in London the whole time? No, they weren't. They all also went to Paris. Okay, yes. They also went to Paris. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> They also, ellos también se fueron a París. They also went to París. Do you have any question with vocabulary or pronunciation in the number two? No? No questions. Okay. Jessica, eh, choose another classmate, please. Escojo otro compañero, Jessica. Y Manuel, choose another classmate, please. Four. Number four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Four is Glenda. Glenda is going to be letter A. And Manuel, can you tell us another mm -hmm. number? Number nine. Number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You did Alfaro? You already practiced. Or you haven't practiced? Okay. Glenda and you did. Okay. And the number three. Okay. okay. Uh, where you, uh, this one is where you away last week. And what about this one? What is the answer for the letter B in the number three? What yes, the I was. Ah, excellent. In Istanbul. Really? How long? Where? Were you there? For almost a week. I? I was there. there on business. Okay. You did. Can you practice the conversation with Glenda? Hello, you did. Are you available? She's not available right now. Okay. So, uh, okay. <laughs> Glenda. Yes. Huh? Yes, you did. Uh, no, you did not. No, está. Se ha levantado. Dice. Okay, vamos a ver. Uh, no, ya no la vi. You did. <laughs> okay, so uh, Glenda, choose another number, please. Hmm? Number 15. Number 15. Vamos a ver. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Rommel. Can you practice the conversation, Romel, with Glenda? Okay, Glenda is letter A and Romel is letter B. Go ahead, please. Okay. Where you... Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se pronunciaba? Away last week. Where you away last week? Away, uh -huh. away. I was in Istanbul. Mm -hmm. Really? How long were you there? 
time was a week. I was there on, on business. Business, business, right? Were you away last week? Away, away. Were you away last week? Estuviste afuera, estuviste lejos la, el fin de semana eh, pasado? Last week, right? La, la semana pasada, la semana pasada. Yes, I was in Istanbul. Really? How long were you there? For almost a week. I was there on business. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Okay. We're going to move rapidito. Que ya, bueno, con esto terminamos lo del pasado. Yo sé que no es, este, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, muy, muy, suficiente tiempo para el pasado, porque el tema del pasado es un poco más difícil. Pero, uh, ni modo, tenemos que correr porque si no, el tema nos consume de, de, del, del internet. So, so you have a, what's your neighborhood like, right? What is the meaning of neighborhood? Like, can you give me an example with neighborhood, please? Neighborhood. For example, here in my... Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. For example, uh, Colonia Linda Vista is a neighborhood. For example, you can say, uh, um, for example, Tutu de Chapa. <laughs> you can say, eh, say las brisas. Eh, okay, different neighborhoods, right? So you have a, this one, for example, you can see as a neighborhood you, with different houses, with different number of houses. What's your neighborhood like? Okay, so my in my neighborhood we have a different eh, houses, eh, medium houses, right? Okay, they are not rich, they are not poor. And so we have a, a very big space, a big, very big yard there, but we don't have a, a big stores. We don't have malls, we don't have drugstores, we don't have cinemas and so on, right? What is your neighborhood like? For example, what is El Salvador like? El Salvador is, is a, a small country, but very nice country, right? Like, in this case, like is no gustar. In este caso, like no gustar. La mayoría de veces que esté al final like significa cómo, cómo que es tu vecindario, cómo es tu vecindario, ¿verdad? Now, what's a barbershop? So you have a barbershop. The number one, barbershop. Number one, barbershop. Number two, grocery store. Number three, laundromat. Laundromat, like the laundry, the laundry, right? Library, library. Examples of library, la ceiba, la casita, eh, and so on. Right, a stationary store, a stationary store, theater, a travel agency, a travel agency. Right now, you have a, a in the auctions, I didn't know this. In the auctions that you have about, it's a place where you, where you have to match them, a, <clears throat> wash and dry clothes. Letter A, letter B, buy food. Letter C, buy cards and paper. Get a hair, a haircut. Get a, get a, the letter T between two vowels, get a haircut, see a movie or play, make reservations for a trip, borrow books, right? Okay, can you help me with the number one, please? I'm gonna choose a person, así, porque ya se me acaba el tiempo. Okay, uh, Elizabeth Pineda Mendoza, uh, no, what's a barbershop? Okay, ya dale la pregunta, what's a barbershop a uno de sus compañeros? Hello, hello, Elizabeth Pineda, se puede. Barbershop. Uh, ¿A quién? Puedes decir, eh, María José, what's a barbershop? Oh, what's a barbershop, María José? María José, what's a barbershop? Uh -huh. uh, hello, María José. Are you sleepy? Are you there? Hello, hello. Ok, no está, no, no, no responde, no. She's not, she's not available right now. Ok, Saúl Alejandro, what is a barbershop? It's a place where you, uh, van a responder usando esto. It's a place where you, what's a barbershop? It's a, it's a place where you, it's where they cut hair. Uh -huh. A barbershop, yes. Uh -huh. It's a place where you get a haircut. Este, the letter D, get a Haircut, right? A barbershop is a place where you get a haircut. Excellent. The number one is with the letter D. Okay, number two. Eh, Ruth Abigail Caballero, what's a 
Number two. Para Miguel. Uh -huh. um, grocery store. But, but the complete question. What's a? What, what's a grocery store? Miguel. Uh -huh. What is a grocery store, Miguel? Okay. Okay, here you have it. Next to the word. Uh -huh. Of course. Okay, Miguel. Angel, Clemente, can you answer, Miguel? Huh? It's a Hello. place where you... Huh? This? Food. Ajá, pero la respuesta completa. It's a place where you... It's a place where you... Buy food. Excellent, Miguel. Laundromat. Héctor Enrique, what's up? Se va a hacer la pregunta a Noemí Salazar. Hello, Héctor Enrique. Hello. Fue Héctor Enrique. Ok, Héctor Enrique es no available. Ok, uh, Glenda, can you help us with laundromat? The question. Ok, it's... It's a place where you wash and dry clothes. And dry clothes, right? A laundromat. Excellent. Very good, Roman. Okay, uh, the next one. Romel Jose nos ayuda con la library. Hey, teacher. Okay. Uh, what's a library? Uh, what's a library? Uh, Romel, uh, Romel, right? Eh, no, ¿Quién dijo? Uh -huh. What's a library? Lucía, can you help us with library? The number four. It's a place where you. Uh, it's a place where you. Uh -huh. Tengo que preguntarle a quién. No, solo la respuesta. Eh, le le pregunté a su compañero que es una library, que es una. Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Que es una. No es librería, sino que es, que es una biblioteca. Ajá. Uh -huh. Library es biblioteca. Que es una biblioteca. Y aquí está, mire, siga la rayita para ver la respuesta. Es un lugar donde tú prestas libros. Para en inglés. Ajá. It's a place where you. Place que leer where la respuesta? Ajá. Borro books. Ok, excelente. Yes. Number five. Stationary store. A stationary store, uh, the newsstand. Can you help us, please? Quiero uh, ver, Manuel Alexander, ¿será que nos ayuda for the number five? Yeah, What's uh, the question and the answer? Para avanzar más rápido, Manuel. Uh, What's a uh, stationary store? Store. And uh, is a place where you? Is it's a place where you? By cards and paper. Paper, okay. Now, feeder. Feeder. Mario Ernesto Guevara nos ayuda, Mario. Feeder. What's a feeder? La pregunta y la respuesta, Mario. Para avanz ir avanzando. Hello, Mario. Are you there? Hello. Hello, Mario. Mario, Mario. Se durmió. <laughs> did you did you fell asleep? It's a place where you um uh -huh. see a movie or play. Excellent, right? See there, see a movie or play. This is a place where you see a movie or play. And finally, what's a travel agency? Agency. What's a travel agency? Uh -huh. And the answer, can you answer please? No sé si nos ayuda Raúl Ruth Abigail Caballero. And number seven. Seven, yes. It's a place where may reservation for a try. Uh -huh, yes, may reservation for a trip. Trip, trip, a viaje o excursión. Trip. Okay, do you have any question with pronunciation or with vocabulary? Tienen preguntas con el vocabulario o la pronunciación? Or not? Yes. Uh -huh. What is your question? Okay. Uh, what's the meaning of uh, Either. La, question seven. Number seven. Travel agency. Number six. Oh, no. six. Okay, Mario, no problem. Que no, no, eh, si lo six, six, yeah. The number six. Theater. Theater. Teatro. 
National Feeder. 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 Recuerde, como que se va a decir Zaragoza. Esa Z de Zaragoza. Uh -huh. Feeder. Feeder. Thank you. Diga thank you. Esa, esa misma TH es la de Feeder. Feeder. Mm -hmm. Feeder. Excellent. Very good. Feeder, right? Yeah. Ok. Eh, ya no hay tiempo para revisar la tarea, ¿verdad? De hablar sobre su niñez. Pero entonces la vamos a dejar for tomorrow. So we're, ni modo. We're gonna eh, eh, continue uh, with the platform. So eh, for tomorrow you need to talk about. Vamos a ver. Para mañana necesita hablar sobre esto. Miren. You need, I'm gonna talk about. Me as a child, I'm gonna talk about oh, as a child. I was shy, I was sick, my hair was very long, my favorite brand was a Arna, my favorite hobby was to ride my bike. And other examples using was, right? Because you have I was. Uh, it's for tomorrow. It's gonna be for tomorrow because we don't have time right now. So uh, right now we are going to move to the platform. Nos movemos rapidito a la plataforma. Si usted tiene alguna pregunta con respecto a la plataforma en estos nueve minutos que me quedan. Bueno, de nueve minutos que me quedan. Uh, questions so far? Do you have any questions? Okay, in these ones, solo tenían que marcar una de estas. Que uh, este es free intermediate, Son right? Seis. Son seis esas. Ajá, uh -huh, eran seis. Uh, yeah. Espera, déjeme revisar. Que no me acuerdo. <laughs> okay, let me check it out. Okay, just let me check it out. That I don't remember. Okay, I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay, ah, you, you did say... The internet fell down. Okay, you did no problem. It's okay. Que la, la saca y el internet. Se le cayó el internet. The internet. A mí me saca cada rato de la clase y se corta, okay? No problem. No problem, okay? Uh, so the answers for that one, so that you have there. Eh, ah, de estas solamente son seis las que tiene que marcar, ¿verdad? En estas que son eh, inexpensive stores. En esta es también Big Apartments. En esta era Great Markets. Eh, also Nice Restaurants. Also Many Different Cultures. ¿Verdad? Y Good Public Transportation. Ahí están las seis. Vamos a ver. Ahí está, miren. Son las que se mencionan en el texto, ¿verdad? En este texto. Eh, do you have more questions about this? Ok, let's check it out here. Vamos a ver aquí. In this exercise, look up the map and read the question and choose. You have to choose. Is there, recordando que is there significa I, ¿verdad? Is there is I. Is there in questions is I una, una near here. Yes, there is one. It's on the corner of the Elm Street and Maple Avenue. En la esquina de Elm Street y Maple Avenue. Vamos a ver. Maple, eh, este es Maple Street. En... L, L Street. Sería, vamos a ver. L Street. Que no lo veo. Eh? L Street. It must be this one, right? This one is Pine Street. Okay, so there is a hotel, right? There is a hotel. There is. Cuando es uno, es there is. Y aquí son 10. Lo que tiene que hacer. Okay, vamos a ver. Eh, y así lo va a hacer según las indicaciones de las proposiciones del lugar. En este lo que usando el there is y el there are, ¿verdad? Bueno, en el deris, en el caso del deris y el derar, que eso todavía no lo hemos explicado, para esta semana hay que hacer la plataforma de la, el ejercicio, estos ejercicios, y hacer el midterm, ¿verdad? Por cualquier consulta que usted tenga, le podemos ayudar, y le podemos echar la mano. Eh, ¿Dónde está el manual? Your manual, no lo veo. Aquí está. Ok, so, uh, remember that. So, is there is. There is is for singular, significa I. There are is for plural, hay varios. One, any, and so. Any lo vamos a utilizar en preguntas y en negativas. Y significa lo mismo que son, pero son lo utilizamos en oraciones positivas. Positivas son y any en negativas y preguntas. One es alguno, ¿verdad? Is there a landromat near here? Hay un, una, un landromat cerca de aquí, donde, hace, donde lavan. Yes, there is. Sí hay. No, there is. No, no hay. There is one. Hay uno al cruzar enfrente del centro de compras. Next to the library. La parte de la librería. 
Oh, next to, near, close to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. On, sobre, next to, la par, near, cerca, close to, cerca de, across from, al cruzar, opuesto, enfrente de, in the back of, atrás de, entre, y on the corner of, en la esquina de. Do you have any question with vocabulary, with this vocabulary? Or oh, no questions? No questions? Se ve negro ahorita, ¿verdad? Pero estoy buscando la asistencia. Yes. Just give me a second. I'm going to pass the attendance because time is almost over. Ok, rapidito. Las personas que, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Vean allí y que no contesten, por favor me, me dicen si su compañero la hace o no. Ok, just give me a second. It's checking the... the the Microsoft Excel. Just give me a second, please. So stop sharing. Okay, just give me a second. Uh, si gustan, los que puedan, ah, abran sus cámaras, por favor. Vamos a ver, eh, a ver si no se han dormido. <laughs> okay, so, si tiene alguna consulta, entonces, este, ahí me dice, ahí me dice por WhatsApp. Eh, vamos a ver, Glenda, ahí la vi, present. Edilce, I am here. Excellent. Edilce Elizabeth Pineda. Present. Héctor Enrique. Present, Héctor. Jessica Lizeth Campos. Present. Ok, Judith del Carmen. Ella tenía problemas con el micrófono. Karen Elizabeth. Karen Elizabeth, hoy no. Karen Elizabeth, no. Lucía del Carmen, present, right? Present. Manuel Alexander, present. María Elizabeth de la O Maldonado. Ahí, Elizabeth de la O Maldonado. María José Torres, Mario Ernesto Guevara Monge. Mario, ah, is in at work. Present. Okay, ah, okay. Miguel Ángel, present. Present. Noemí Salazar. Present. Roberto Carlos Morales. Ah, it, I remember him. Rommel, también me acuerdo su nombre. Ruta, Ruta Abigail. I'm here. Eh, Saúl Alejandro. Present. En Stephanie. Okay, is you, okay, ahí me mandó present. present, Mario. Okay, very good. Excellent, Mario. Uh, so see you tomorrow if you don't have more questions, right? Okay, so see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Uh, completamos la asistencia. Good night. La, the platform, please, okay?